Hi and welcome to the latest tutorial. What we're going to do here is we're going to cut this girl out of this image here and replace this background with this image here. And the end result should look something a little bit like this. And this is quite a challenging uh, piece because this hair is um, very dramatic and also very complex. It's very pale, very light and there's a lot of different colours in the background. So what we're going to do is create a complex mask but we're going to do this in quite an easy way. So the first thing we do is come into the channels here. So we've gone from layers over to channels and we're going to go through each channel in turn and find one which is extreme which gives us the best contrast between her hair and the background. And I'm going to go with this one. So the next thing that I do is press the command button or control if you're on a PC and then click on this um, the little uh, icon for the layer there. Oh, sorry, for the channel there. And what that does is it loads that channel as a selection. Then I'm going to turn everything else back on and come back to the layers palette. Now I want to create a mask on this layer using the selection that I've made. So I turn the layer back on, I come over to the mask button here and what I'm going to do is press the alt button and click the mask. And so what that's done is created an inverted mask based on my previous selections. As you can see here it's already showing the hair and allowing the, old, the new background to pass through quite nicely but we've still got to fix and make the mask a lot more solid around her face, around her body and also make sure that the background components are all blended out completely as well. So the way we do this is by selecting the mask so alt and then click on the mask icon itself, the mask thumbnail itself and coming into here and now we can see much better the areas that we need to work on. So the first part of this I'm going to use the dodge and burn tools. So first off I'm going to take the dodge tool, dodge tool, I'm going to have it set to about 5% in the highlights and I'm going to I'm going to make a brush a little bit larger and I'm going to brush away this background and make it disappear. Now it takes a while but what we don't want to do is become very very aggressive and if we brush this away, working away around where her hair is, but not wiping out the, these fine, fine strands. And this is, the, this is going to be how we work away at our image. Now once we've done this dodging of the layer, we're then going to switch to the burn tools and focus on darkening and thickening up the other parts of the, parts of the mask as well. So if we just, as you can see here, we've dodged it. we're not going to burn out all of these. And we're not going to dodge out all of these. We're going to leave a little bit of a blend there. Now remember, we're on highlights here and at 5%, but in a moment, we're going to switch I'm going to cut, get rid of those later with the brush. So now we've switched to the burn tool. Again, I've got this set here at the moment to the mid-tones and around 37%. That's too high. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down again to about 5% and go for shadows this time. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to thicken up this area here, just around the hair. We're not going to worry too much about inside her body at the moment because we're going to address that again in a little while. So if I just, before we switch over any further, you'll see it's actually starting to strengthen the edge of that mask up. You can see where it's started to get much stronger there. Okay, switch back in there quickly. There are going to be some tricky bits around this area here, which we're going to have to, again, paint in by hand. But the majority of this we're able to do with dodging and burning and it gives us a nice 
strong edge. So now I switch to the brush tool, hitting B, select my brush. I'm going to up the, up the flow there to about 60%. Toggle so I've got black in the foreground. I'm just blocking every other piece of this. go. This piece here I'm going to draw in once we've got once we're looking at the image. So now I'm going to toggle to white and brush out these pieces here as well. Make sure I've got all these bits in the corner. There we go. I'm probably going to have to do some work in here just to tidy it up a little. And there we go. That's the mask. That's the mask made and ready to work with. So we toggle it back and there we are. Now we know that this area here just needs a little bit of attention so we make sure that we switch our brush foreground color to black and um, let's zoom in a little come on down here and we can see there's just the faintest bit creeping in on the side. So we shrink this down and brush in and there we go. Now what we would do is zoom into around 100% and just work our way around the edges. Let's switch this to full screen. And just go around the edges and take a look at the edge of our image. Look to see if there's anything that stands out that says, that cries out for it to be addressed. Now that looks pretty good, that looks pretty clean. Checking around the tops of the arms there. And getting into this bottom corner where we thought we might need to do some work. But no, that looks quite good. And there we are, full screen. Now, sometimes you might find that the edges around here look a little bit stark and don't look quite right. So what you can do, what I would recommend you do, is first setting the history brush to where you've finished here. And then from there on in, you can take the dodge tool, set quite lightly, quite a large soft brush, and just brush around the edges. Making a large soft brush, just brush around the edges of the mask here. And this will allow you to blend just that little bit more of the background into the hair. Working away steadily. And the thing with setting the history brush now means that if you feel you've gone too far, you can always go back to where the history was in the first place and start again from scratch. You don't want to be wiping out completely all of this mask that you've created here. And it's just a case of going softly and gently and steadily. Remember that hair when it's in situations like this is transparent the background does show through so you're not going to have a completely solid block of color and there we go I hope people find that helpful if not or if there's something that needs to be explained a little bit further drop me an email leave a comment and uh, I'll see if I can answer it there for you thanks very much for your time and I'll see you again for the next one